When Deathly Stillness first came out, it wasn't actually a game that was intended to be released completely. Its developer Chen developed this game as a project, seeing it as a challenge that he could develop in half an hour. However, after the 10-hour development process was completed, the interest increased considerably and Chen continued to publish and update the game. The game, which was completed in 17 days, was opened by Chen to be experienced on Steam. Developed in as little as 17 days, Deathly Stillness is only based on clearing zombies. Without the intriguing side stories, the surprising surprises of the main story, and the unconventional bosses, the game received pretty good reviews. The first reason is that it's really a zombie invasion game. When faced with a zombie invasion, all you have to do is clear the zombies, which the developer calls pretty boring and players love. Although the game was developed in 17 days, the game mechanics are quite advanced, you will not have any getting used to it. Plus the graphics are surprisingly clean and beautiful. Realistic effects are not something we can see much for a game developed in such a short time. Deathly Stillness is truly a zombie invasion game. You pass by clearing the areas and move on the map. If you want to clear your head and clear the zombies, this game is for you. Dead Frontier 2 is a 3D survival horror MMORPG set in a post-apocalyptic world overrun by zombies. In Dead Frontier 2, you can kill infected zombies and gain experience and items from them, survive and fight. A deadly plague will hand humanity over to a handful of survivors with undead armies right on their doorstep. You can explore a vast post-apocalyptic open-world environment in search of food, water, weapons and other necessities you will need for survival. You must be careful to watch your back as you enter a dark and dangerous world where zombies can lurk around every corner. You need to complete quests for local townspeople to earn money and experience. You must design your character according to your playstyle with a wide variety of skills such as marksmanship, melee, stealth, running, dodge and much more. Sneak through town after zombie infested town or go inside with flaming guns. Survive as a lone wolf or team up with other survivors to complete objectives, the choice is yours. The longer you survive, the stronger and more skilled you become. <laughs> Muck is a free survival roguelike. In the game, trapped in the mud on an island, alone or with your friends, you will try to survive as long as possible by using the resources you find around the island. Gather resources, craft tools, weapons and armor, find items and build your base throughout the day. But when night falls, mysterious enemies appear from the shadows. Using the resources and items you produce during the day, you must try to survive the night. A free-to-play zombie survival game, Unturned has a distinctly Roblox-like style to it, albeit with a much more apocalyptic vibe. As one of the few remaining survivors in a world filled with zombies, players must see if they've got what it takes to survive and thrive in their harsh new surroundings. Crafting and forging alliances will also be a key part of the survival experience, with a focus on base building and fortifications as another. The world of Unturned is massive, thanks to five fully developed maps and one community-created sandbox map for players to venture their way across. Zombie survival with extensive modding options awaits in this game. <laughs> Done setting. 
up. You won't have time to die. The survivor has been eliminated. This far. Eternal Return is a unique multiplayer online survival arena combining strategy, mechanical, and aesthetic characters. Taking place on the deserted Lumia Island, the shady organization known as Aglaia is conducting experiments on living human beings in search to perfect a new race of extraordinary humans. Craft tons of different weapons and armor, fight up to 17 other players solo or with friends, and survive to be the last one standing. Set in the same universe as the original Black Survival, Eternal Return brings the well-known characters of Lumia Island to a new, exciting, Battle Royale, MOBA and Survival Mix game. Eliminated. Justice always prevails. The air supply will be dropped within the next minute. Zero Survival is an action-oriented, open-world survival shooter. In the game you have to fight against other mercenaries and deadly zoids. Raid for resources, build and defend your base, hide your gear and survive challenges alone or with teammates. The story of the game is as follows. The world is devastated by the destruction of a prototype war robot banned by the Zira Company, which escaped while waiting to be destroyed. A war breaks out over the country's resources. Armies, mercenaries and warriors from all over the world are searching for what's left of the Zira compound. A base is established on either side of the forest. There is no agreement between the two bases. For one of the bases, the only thing at stake is the future of the human race, for the other it's all about money. Overall, I'd say it's pretty good in terms of gameplay. Although it has its shortcomings, it is optimized with new updates. Nomad is a sandbox survival game. Find food, drink, weapons, ammo and medical supplies. Build a base to protect yourself, but also don't forget to protect the base from raiding players. Set years after an apocalypse, the world is overgrown, fragmented, and abandoned. You have to explore the huge island to find gear and loot to aid your adventures. Find weapons and ammo and hunt other players. Be that bloodthirsty thug or be a hero helping others, it's entirely up to you. Zombie Carnage 2 is a 32-player first-person shooter where you play as both a human and a zombie. By killing zombies and infecting humans, you'll level up permanently by unlocking weapons, add-ons, zombie classes, and more. As you level up and unlock new weapons, you can use them with add-ons such as sights, suppressors, stabilizers, grips, extended magazines, different ammo types, stocks, and more to customize each weapon to your style. Will to Live Online is an MMORPG shooter with survival elements. The story of the game takes place in the wastelands of the post-apocalyptic world. In the game you have to explore the vast open world full of dangerous places, radiation, mutants and surviving gunmen. Explore the world and its history, complete quests, fight monsters and other survivors, obtain resources, hunt and gather, trade and exchange with other players. Find new friends or deadly enemies. You can create up to four characters of different classes, each with their own unique characteristics, playstyle, and weapons. Upgrade your character to gain access to new weapons and new class abilities. Enter one of the hostile factions and protect their interests. Unite with your friends to make your life easier or harder for other players.
on the planet of Fortuna 3, there is a lot of treasure that is waiting to be taken, and there are many who go to that planet with the goal of trying to take it all for themselves. The problem is that just because you get to the planet and the spoils doesn't mean you'll survive long enough to keep it. The Cycle Frontier puts you in a very unique survival scenario. The game will have you seek out the treasure, but be on the lookout for both bloodthirsty beasts trying to kill you and the various other players who are fine with stealing the loot you get.